Then I faced a challenge in my personal life. My job as a marketing executive was taking a toll on my mental and physical health. The long hours and constant stress were wearing me down. I knew that I needed a change, but I didn't know what to do. I had always felt a deep connection to nature. Growing up in the heart of the city, I found solace in the trees and plants that surrounded me and would often spend hours exploring the nearby parks and forests. But it wasn't until I stumbled upon a group of people meditating in a clearing that I began to truly explore my spirituality. The group was made up of people from all walks of life, but they all shared a peaceful energy that drew me in. I felt a sense of belonging that I had never experienced before. As we meditated together, I found myself opening up and sharing my own spiritual journey with the group. Over the following weeks, I attended the group's weekly gatherings, learning more about meditation and mindfulness. I began to understand the interconnectedness of all things and the power of surrender and trust. I felt like I was onto a path to something greater, but I wasn't sure what that path was yet. Then I faced a challenge in my personal life. My job as a marketing executive was taking a toll on my mental and physical health. The long hours and constant stress were wearing me down. I knew that I needed a change but I didn't know what to do. I confided in my spiritual community, sharing my fears and doubts. They listened and shared their own struggles. They encouraged me to take small steps toward my dream of starting an organic farm. They reminded me of the power of surrender and trust, urging me to let go of my attachment to my job and trust the universe had a plan for me. With their support, I began to explore the world of organic farming. I started by growing herbs and vegetables in my backyard, using the knowledge I had gained from my time in the woods. As my passion for organic farming grew, I started to research the steps I would need to take to turn my hobby into a business. I attended workshops and conferences, learning about the industry and the challenges I would face. Despite the obstacles in my path, I remained committed to my dream. I continued to attend the group's weekly gatherings, drawing strength from their shared spiritual journey. They encouraged me to stay true to myself, to follow my heart, and to trust the journey. Months turned into years, and my organic farm grew and flourished. I was able to leave my corporate job and live a life that was in alignment with my values and passions. I felt a deep sense of gratitude for the spiritual community that has supported me every step of the way. They had shown me the power of connection to a higher power, personal transformation, universal themes, symbolism, inspiration, and authenticity. Looking over at my farm, I felt a deep sense of peace. I knew that I had been guided to this point for something greater than myself. And I was grateful for the spiritual community that had helped me find my way. Their wisdom and guidance had been a source of inspiration and hope, reminding me that anything is possible if we stay true to ourselves and trust the journey. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the story. If you liked it, don't go away. Hold on. I'm linking below stories from your favorite genres in the description in the show notes. Choose your favorite genre and listen to the stories. Make sure you listen. You can download them and listen as per your time. It's not necessary that you have to listen it again. So you just have to go tap on it, download it. And whenever you're traveling, sleeping, going on a long walk. And if you enjoyed the story, don't forget to review and rate the show. Because 
your reviews and ratings maybe like take 15 seconds 20 seconds but that means a lot to me that means a lot to the efforts that we are taking every single day to make it memorable so i hope you go and check out the description i hope you love the stories and make sure you go and review and read or follow the show that you're being very kind to us and thank you uh, i hope you enjoyed it <laughs>